guys, it's boy Ganso, and welcome back to another tutorial. I know. Uh, yeah, welcome back to another tutorial. Don't mind the bedding on the door because uh, it's 4 a.m. and I still live with my parents, as you can clearly see by what I'm wearing right now. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to automate the tempo. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I do this? Why would I automate the tempo? Well, it's something that you might find yourself doing sometimes, depending on the beat, depending on the song. Maybe you want to do some funky switch up, maybe you want to do some variations in the track. Today I'll show you guys an example. <laughs> and then how you can achieve this effect. So I got this instrumental right here and uh, it sounds like this. And this is where the tempo automation comes in. So from 150 it's gonna drop down to 75 you can technically do this by just spacing out the drums so they sound like you know they're twice as slow instead of automating the tempo but it, you know it doesn't feel as authentic I guess you can also make it twice as fast by increasing it from 150 to 300 but you know this is just an example so i'll show you guys how to do it right now so i'm gonna make a really basic uh trap pattern using the default drums doesn't really matter so so i'm just gonna loop it now we're gonna right click on the tempo and then create automation clip and uh, as you can see if you just increase it or decrease it it's gonna be a uh, set point by default from 60 to 180. let's say our beat is gonna be on 120 so we're gonna copy the value which is 120 copy value right click on the initial point and paste value right no, we're gonna double click the tempo automation. As you can see, we have a min and max knob, basically minimum level and the maximum level. The maximum level, let's say, is gonna be 120, so we're gonna paste the value and we wanna drop it down to 60. So let's uh, drop it down all the way to 60, copy uh, the value, and then paste it over the minimum knob. By default, it's gonna be on 90 because that's the middle point. So let's drop it down all the way to 60. So now our instrumental is on 60 bpm if we add a point and put it all the way up it's gonna be on 120 it's on 60 right now and it switches to 120 if you want to do something more aggressive we can have uh, the minimum point 120 and then let's say 240 which is double 120 and now it's gonna go from 120 To 240 it's really simple to do but you can have a lot of fun with this you can put a point let's say to 50 percent which is uh actually i don't know so let's find out so 50 is gonna be uh, 180 so we have this simple chord progression which is in e minor and it sounds like this normally and now what you can do is basically get rid of the drums maybe have just a section for the melody and you can make a transition by adding a default point at 60 and then a point at 120 let's say right before the drums so we can add the drums just to simulate a track so it's gonna sound like this can do this in so many other ways this is just an example a really basic one maybe even a bad one who knows but yeah this is pretty much it with this it's really simple you just gotta keep in mind to add the minimum uh, bpm that you want to use and the maximum one before queuing the outro i just wanted to plug my soundcloud because uh, i'm 50 followers away from 3k so you know i wouldn't mind if you guys you know would help me out also the beat that i showed you in the beginning of the video 
is this one. You can stream it on SoundCloud. Who gives a fuck? You have the link in the description. But yeah, this has been it. Um, rate my outfit from uh, 10 to 10. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, my God.